Hi guys, it's the RPG Brit here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Horizon Forbidden West. Um, so I'm just going to quickly do target. Yep, yeah, remains energized longer. I'm just going to do a couple of skills. You have unlocked your first Valor Surge. Uh, powered by a special node in your focus, gain a greater chance to land critical hits and increase critical damage. So critical hit chance plus 35%, critical hit damage plus 10, critical strike damage. Yeah, that's fine. We'll equip that. Cool. Uh, yeah, this is the trap one, which I've just not been doing at all. Uh, bow. Increase your weapon stamina limit. So you've not really been using stamina. As far as I'm aware... The resource ones are quite good, though. Let's have a look. Health potions provide more healing. Carry more. There you go. That's it. Carry more medicinal. That'll be good. Cool. Right. So we have just done uh, this main quest. So we're on to the next one, the embassy. That one's still on hold. And I don't think we can do anything. Oh, we can go to the pit, actually. We might have some more things that we can try and uh, practice there you have equipped a valor surge valor surge is like extremely powerful rare abilities that can instantly turn the tide of a fight build up your valor surge bar and unleash this ultimate power and valor through tactical gameplay and when a segment of the valor surge bar is full activate the valor surge by opening the weapon wheel r1 and tapping r1 Unlock additional levels of a Valor Surge in the skill tree to add segments to the Valor Surge bar and gain extra effect effects. Okay. Well, that is all completely brand new as well. Oh, yeah, there you go. Activate. Not enough points. That's cool. Now, I've got all of these new weapons as well. So, we've got... This boat. So, this one does acid as well. Um, let's just... Upgrade all of that. Not upgrade it, but um, craft them all, sorry. But we've got one that now does fire. We've got Warrior Bow, which is this one here, which fires... Look, it's a tiny bow. <laughs> but it fires at close range, which is good. We've got Precision Arrows, which is, uh, which is really, really good. That's your range. And then I've got uh, Trip Wires and the uh, Blast Link, which I've had before. Okay, right. Uh, I'm just going to grab what I can from my stash. Restock. Okay, cool. Create trip rise with your trip rise by fine at two points. Yeah, we know that. Right, so let's go to the melee pit. See if we do have more, uh, more skills to practice, more challenges. Here to practice, friend. I set up some new training while you were gone. Good, good, good. Let's have a look. So, tutorials. There you go. Block breaker. And that's it at the moment. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Oh. No. That count, yep, one of two. Ah, yeah. oh, it's annoying. Because if I hit him, oh, well, it just resets it, it's fine. I don't need to do two again. Cool, I'm happy with that. Continue. Right, so we've got no more on here. No. Challenges. Oh, we do have Block Breaker. Cool, let's do that then. Use Block Breaker combo to immediately break their weapons guard and leave them vulnerable to follow-up attacks. You will only use your spear. Okay, we know that. Defeat your opponent by overcoming their weapon guard, but be careful as blocking opponents could counter-attack at any moment. Right, let's do this. Oh, oh, he's quick. The 
if you keep repeating the same attacks, your enemy will dodge them. Vary your attacks and combinations. Make yourself less predictable. That's cool. Come on, get out of the way. There's no locking on, I don't think. It's a bit annoying. Blocking, then use a heavy attack or a power attack to break through. Either that or hit them from behind. God, he is tough. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not even close. I can't use my bow either. Uh, retry. He's gonna charge straight at me. Come on! If your opponent keeps blocking, then use a heavy attack or a power attack to break through. Either that or hit them from behind. Let's just stay on him. Just don't give him a chance to settle. I can't heal either, I don't think. See, I can't... I can't, um, use my arrow. Nah, Try not again. quite. I, I took a lot of his armor down and it was doing a lot more damage. But not quite. Yeah. Come on. If your opponent keeps blocking, then use a heavy attack or a power attack to break through. Either that or hit them from behind. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> If you keep repeating the same attacks, your enemy will dodge them. Vary your attacks and combinations. Come on, we got to get rid of this armor. Tell me I'm not Not even close again. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Try again. <sighs> Maybe more powerful attacks, but then they're really slow. If you keep repeating the same attacks, your enemy will dodge them. Vary your attacks and combinations. Make yourself more predictable. Drinks Try and use these more powerful attacks. And I'm hoping. Doing so well, and now he's dodged some, and I can't. I didn't do it. Try again. Ah, that's definitely the closest I've been. So I think, yeah, more of those big, powerful attacks. But then we need to sort of stagger him first. How did I not hit him? <laughs> nice. 
Nice. Oh my god, this is frustrating. Look at that, probably two more hits maybe. You literally can't let him rest at all. keeps blocking then use a heavy attack or a power attack to break through either that or hit them from behind oh come on so you seem to slow down so much after doing a heavy attack yeah I've not done this one Maybe I just keep trying to get behind him. I didn't do it. Try again. Yeah, maybe if I keep trying to avoid, like, not avoid, keep trying to dodge behind him and then attack him then. Your Come on, that hit him. Whatever your attack combination, make yourself less predictable. Come on. If your opponent keeps blocking, then use a heavy attack or a power attack to break through. Either that or hit them from behind. See that? I was pressing that and it was just so slow. And it doesn't help that you can't lock on. Yeah, I've not done it again. Try again. Oh, I'm gonna try one more time. <clears throat> Come on. Keep repeating the same attacks, your enemy will dodge them. Whatever your attacks in combination, make yourself less predictable. Come on. If your opponent keeps blocking, then use a heavy attack or a power attack to break through. Either that or hit them from behind. Yeah, I've not done it again. I got so close once. They do not give you enough time on this. It's bollocks. Um, yeah, no, I'm going to leave that. Wait until I come back when I'm more powerful. That is ridiculous. It just it means some of the other challenges are just going to be um, pretty impossible. <laughs> until you've proper leveled up anyway. Right, so let's actually do something uh, of note. So... Oh, we've got some more side quests to pick up, actually. Nice. So let's go around and do all that first. Got nothing up here. We do have some question marks, but we can't seem to get to them. It's a bit annoying. Yeah, so we've just got these two. Let's go to them. That looks like it's inside the main tent. Oh, and it's actually down here with her. That's cool. Back more, huh? Anyone? Another round here? Heard you've been busy. As for me, I'm gonna need a few more of these before I get back to the forge. Is there something on your mind? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. 
But we still got Olven grading the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. <laughs> anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way and during Forge knows what. And I saw. They won't let anyone up the old trailhead southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Tallinn Clean Brokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Oh uh, yeah, we oh. did come across them. them. Talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch, but overall they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Tallinn. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else. Shadow Carja? Tell me about the Shadow Carja refugees. Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Carja for one, at least not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for what exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a stormbird heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan Clean Broker has ever lost sleep over any law breaking. Who is this Tolland Clean Broker? Just some chuff huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals and a campfire, those two. So Tolland works for Alvin? Ha! <laughs> Alvin might think so. But Tolland scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird Salvage. Hmm. Refuge. Oh, can we do bristle? Yeah, so bristle backs. Bristlebacks in the daunt. Ugh. You're a pig. <laughs> Blasted things, those bristlebacks. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place mm -hmm. working again. I did indeed. That put a dent in Olvin's plans. Now, if only there were some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. About that. I think the bristlebacks came out of Olvin's old mine. Now there's a spark that could light a fire. Can you prove it? I'm working on it. By the forge. Grab my ear if you nail it down. Well, All right, the refugees? Way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. Petra said Holland has a shop here in Chainscrape. The Twilight Path. Could have a word with him first. Okay, right. Well, let's grab this other quest here, and then we'll decide what quests we do first. Because I like, I do like doing all of the available quests before moving on with the story, uh, especially when you're playing on such a high difficulty, because you. You get a chance to level up a little bit more. I, I'm sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh, <clears throat> okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon. Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off. No, just, 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 just stop talking. I want to know what this is. Where are we? Ah. <clears throat> so, uh... You, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. <laughs> Am I right? Actually, I... Ugh. But you're just not! I am with a customer! I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder! It'll blow a strider sky high! Ba-boom! One-shot kill, guaranteed. Uh, maybe I am. 
then you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced, explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking, yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower? A javelin thrower? Who are you, are you two? two? from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. <laughs> your friend there. Uh... So she's your partner? My apprentice and my sister. She's why we're out here. I thought that was some sort of relation. It was an incident. Another incident. Involving explosives? Ba boom And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. About this weapon. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it and i am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design whereas i will perfect it i can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw increase the projectile's velocity well boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better namely with explosive tips boomsticks hmm. why not both that could work there's one small snag I need the parts to meet the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Fumer! You get them for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. Wow, that does sound interesting. All right, so let's have a look. So, uh, so that one actually counts, isn't it? Okay, charger horns and a faghorn rib. So we won't leave have that as an active one, just because I think that's just going to happen naturally. But we are going to do the twilight path. That does sound interesting, though. I love it that they call them boomsticks. <laughs> um, it's obviously very primitive. It's almost like if if anyone's ever a fan of um, which way is the best way to go? That way. If anyone is a uh, a fan of 40k, it's almost what like the orcs would call their weapons. Because like the guns are called like shooters. Like it's very it's a very primitive, basically description of what the thing does. And you got you got stabbers and stuff like that. It's just, just obviously knives. But it just reminded me of that when they called it a boomstick. But it's taking me all round the houses, isn't it? Uh, it's you. The machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A stormbird. Nailed him myself with the harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the shadow cars of filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. Well. Let's go to the camp then. Really close to leveling up as well. Which is nice. And that's another thing. You seem to get... I get around faster if I find a charger to override. Yeah, I like walking though. <laughs> um, yeah, I was going to say, you, um, you get a lot of skill points for... 
doing uh, side missions as well. You seem to get like two for handling each one. Right, how far is this? Oh, this is up and round, isn't it? I do remember. Alright, that's fine. Let's... Because are these charges? Yeah, we're going to need to kill some of these. For, um, for that errand. See if some of these will come closer. Well, I don't see these being difficult to take down, but I'd rather do it as silently as possible. There we go. It's a little bit. Oh, it triggered that one as well. I want to take that one down and fight the rest. No, it's not. It's not quite close enough. I'll wait for it to turn round. Come on. Damn. So I could just make it in there. Oh dear. This is the new hunter bow, which is the one that's really quick. And can't argue that, it is pretty quick. Okay, that's one. Whoa, 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 whoa. That wasn't very sportsmanlike, was it? Waiting for me to, uh, be bending over. Do I need to actually knock them off to get them? Well, I've done it anyway. That's two. Level eight reach, nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was not nice. Do I get one of them horns? No. Okay, so I think I do actually need to knock them off. And then I... Oh. They're coming at me one at a time, which I mean is nice. Don't get me wrong. Should be all of the uh, the horns that I need. There it is. Should have enough charger horns for Dylan and Boomer now. 
just need a rib from that thing holding Right, let's grab some of these as well because we used quite a bit in that one. Is there still one nearby? There must be. I don't know where. There. I almost feel bad when they fall down. Almost. <laughs> Not quite. There we go. That is definitely all of them now. Oh, that's a supply cache. Okay, right, let's carry on. Is that a bit of the... Oh, no, it wasn't. I thought no, that was a bit of the blight then. Right, we're going to get there, talk to them, and then end this video here but I am going to do another one tonight so I'm really really in the mood to play a lot of this I wonder if they're actually here working now oh What's that? Them shadow barge are taking a beating. Those people are under attack. Hey, you up there? Aren't you gonna help? Not my job. I'm just here to keep an eye on things for chain scrape. Wow. That's not doing much damage at all. Right, let's take down this guy first. And then for the fire one, we'll try and use the acid. Where is it? Much 
better. Alright, let's go. Oh, shit. Sorry, let's go there. Always wanted to see the savior of Meridian in action. Who is this guy? Oh, I thought that was going to kill it then. That's the last of them. Better check on the refugees. Guess the show's over. Right, well, I'm going to end this video here. I'm just going to collect all of this, though. I've got an antler, but I didn't get a rib. Unfortunately. Do I get one from here? No. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm going to end this video here, um, but I'm going to keep scavenging everything. I've got a trap there as well. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much, and take care.